Hey guys, it's Elena. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Today is going to be a follow-up video of my different video. If you haven't yet watched my 60-day different transformation, if you want to see the before and after after 60 days, I'm going to have it linked down below so you can definitely watch that before watching this. As promised, I am going to talk about some tips before getting started with different. I asked you guys in my last video if you have any questions for me to answer. I got some repetitive questions, so I'll definitely be answering those questions. In this video, I have nine tips to share with you before you get started with using different or maybe if you're just starting with different it can definitely help you know making adjustments is very important trial and error is very important you can still try these out if you're still trying to make different work for you but this is definitely a video that is really important to watch before getting started because it can help prevent a lot of mistakes kind of just making it an easy transition for you guys in my last video I talk a lot about retinoids in general so I do speak about this product in particular but today we're not going to be talking about the ingredients but we're mostly going to talk about some tips before getting started so if you want to learn more about the product in general diving into the ingredients and what retinoids are generally then I recommend watching that video first and then going into this one before we get started be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to be notified every single time I post a new video so you never miss out <laughs> I think I nailed it. The first one is to use sunscreen. You hear this all the time, so I kind of just want to get that out of the way, is to use sunscreen. Sunscreen is super, super important. You should be using sunscreen regardless if you're using a retinoid. Retinoids actually break down with sun exposure, so it's even more important to wear sunscreen. Throughout the first weeks of using it, your skin can actually become a little bit more sensitive. So even using retinoids, it can actually potentially make your skin more vulnerable to sun exposure. Since it can break down with sun exposure, I definitely recommend to try using it during the nighttime versus the morning time if you are scared that you're not putting enough sunscreen, that you're not reapplying enough sunscreen throughout the day. So for the second one is side effects are completely normal. Your skin can have a really high chance of becoming flaky, tight, feels really dry, it can look more oily. It has a potential of making your skin look worse before it gets better. And you hear that all the time and it's completely normal. A lot of people like to stop when it gets worse, but try and push through because those side effects are completely normal if you want to avoid those side effects definitely try using a more gentle form of retinoids like a retinol like a lower concentration retinol and working your way up adapalene is actually pretty strong and it used to be prescription only because of the strength but in 2016 they made it available over the counter starting slow and building your tolerance going from a weaker retinoid form to a stronger one like adapalene tretinoin building your tolerance like that can really help avoid those those intense side effects like the dryness, peeling, flaking, purging, those are all completely normal. Please, please, please try and push through if you don't see any improvements within four to six weeks, even up until eight weeks because skin resilience really varies person to person. Everyone's different. Everyone's skin is different. Then I recommend maybe revisiting the idea that, oh, it's not working for me. Number three is start slow if you don't know. That is one of my favorite sayings that I made up. I don't know if I made that up. I don't know if I heard it from somebody else, but I've been saying that for a really long time. If you don't know how strong of a retinoid your skin can handle, I definitely recommend starting with a more gentle form of of retinoid like a retinol and then working your way up because that can avoid any intense side effects or just intense sensitivities. It's kind of like if you're trying to lose weight and then you go full on in the gym every single day for an hour. It can really shock your body and might not be great for your body versus taking it slow step by step and then building your way up to maybe going to the gym every single day. You know what I'm trying to say? So you can try and start with a like an over-the-counter retinol or you can even try and use this adapalene gel, this different gel, one to two, even three times a week and then working your way up to using it every day. Number four is a question that I actually often get asked a lot is if it's it's a wash off product and no this is not a wash off product you don't have to wash this off it's not supposed to be a wash off product in fact it's actually supposed to be left on your skin for a couple hours if you apply it at night you don't have to wash it off in the morning but if you're planning on using like another product that might go against this retinoid then i recommend that you wash your skin in the morning and then apply whatever you're gonna apply and if i'm going to be dealing with a lot of actives i always like to start my skincare routine off with a clean base number five is try using dull or bland products like a bland or dull skincare routine in the first few weeks 
weeks that my skin was kind of adjusting to this Adapalene because it's so powerful. I noticed that my skin did a lot better with bland products. So I tried to stick to a bland skincare routine. So that means products without a lot of fragrance or none at all, without alcohol or any possible irritants. I only did that for the first month. I didn't want to like shock my skin with too many products, too many ingredients all at once. For the sixth one is hydrate, moisturize, and protect. Make sure that you're trying your best, especially when this Adapalene is adjusting to your skin still. One of the ways that I felt like I was protecting my skin was using a good moisturizer that keeps in the hydration. Not all moisturizers are good at hydrating your skin. I like to use a lot of toners and a lot of hydrating face masks. Like sheet masks were my best friend during that time. If your skin barrier is hydrated properly and it's not losing moisture, it's gonna do a lot better at repairing your skin. Make sure you're using a good moisturizer and if you need that extra boost, which I think never hurts, is to use hydrating products like a toner, a hydrating face mask, a hydrating serum. Hydration was super important for the first two months while my skin was adjusting to this and my skin was kind of healing at the same time, especially because I had so much damage on the surface of my skin from acne. Like I said, use SPF, protect, make sure that you're on top of your SPF game. When you're exfoliating your skin and you're not using any SPF, it can actually do more harm than good. Those layers of dead skin cells is in a way protecting your skin. So you wanna make sure that your skin is well protected with SPF. So going to my ninth tip, a lot of people think that you can't use retinoids if you have sensitive skin. And I just wanna say that that is totally not true. You just have to know how to work with it. And if you have sensitive skin, it's more important that you start low and you start slow. There are a lot of people out there that have acne and have sensitive skin and they just don't know what to do like products aren't working for them and I think that that's where vitamin A these retinoids really do the job if you're allergic to the ingredients and you know that stay away from it but don't be afraid to use it don't be afraid to play around and see if it works for you but if you're unsure you can always consult your dermatologist or your primary care doctor don't be scared to give it a shot because you never know if it's gonna work for you if you never try it that is it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to be notified every single time I post a new video so you never miss out. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment down below so I can get back to you as soon as possible and I will see you in the next video. Bye!